it's Miss Julie from the Johnsburg Library. Happy June and happy new things happening. So what I mean by that is yesterday, the Johnsburg Library started with what's called curbside service. Yay, things are changing. What that means is if you are looking for books, what you need to do is just either give the library a call or email the library letting us know what books you want and we will try and pull those from our shelves and get those to you. So kids, do you have some favorites that you might want to reread or do you have no idea what books you might want? If you want some suggestions, please leave me a comment on the Facebook post for this video and I will try and recommend some fun books for you. But this is super exciting, guys. We are finally getting into the direction of opening up the library soon. It is not open yet, but hopefully soon, okay? Well, I am ready to get warmed up for our story hour video today. And I think all of you who are used to this video will know what you need. But for those of you who might be new, this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need hands. You're going to need feet, you're going to need knees, you're going to need fingers, and lastly, you're going to need either a real toothbrush or you can pretend and just use your finger, okay? We are going to do a song that's going to warm up our bodies and get us ready for a fun, fun time. I'm having fun already, are you? Let's get going. Alrighty guys, up on your feet. We're gonna move our bodies and get them warmed up. All right, first thing you need is gonna be your hands. So get them ready and let's go. Hands are for clapping. Very good. All 
Alrighty, friends, do you feel warmed up? Well, let's settle back down. It's our first book of the day. I am going to share with you a day at the farm. Have any of you visited a farm lately? If you do right about now, a lot of the babies are being born, so that's very exciting. If you can get to a farm, I know it might be difficult right now during these times, but if uh, things start opening up and you're able to get to a farm, please do so. It'll be a lot of fun and a great learning experience for you. So there are two people who worked on this book. We have um, Belinda Gallagher. She worked on the words. And then we have um, John Francis. He did the illustrations or the artwork of the book. So thank you, Belinda, and thank you, John, for working together to create this book called A Day at the Farm. So let's meet some animals, shall we? Mother Duck takes her ducklings to meet the lamb in the foals. Mother Horse watches as they all make friends. Who is sitting on the blue bucket? Can you see? Is it Little Crow? The brown and white dog looks after the animals at the farm. He watches the cow and her calves. They have come to see the little foal in the field. That's the baby horse. Who else has come to see the foal? Looks to me like Mama Hen and her babies. And another hen there too. Oh, and Black Crow is back. It is feeding time for the hens. The farmer gives them corn to eat. The other animals are hungry too. Can you point to the goat eating some hay? Do you see the goat? There he is. Baby goats are called kids. They like to play games with the piglets. The chicks would like to play too, but they are too small. How many chicks are there? I count three, did you? One, two, three. The sheepdog looks after the sheep in the meadow. She teaches her puppies to do this as well. The animals watch the ducklings learning to swim. Who is watching from behind the stable door? Is it the foal? The baby horse? The piglets love, 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 love to roll in the mud. The other animals do not like to get dirty. They all watch as the piglets play. Can you say the names of all the other animals? All right, let's see. We've got some rabbits, right? We've got a lamb, a dog, the piggies, We've got a kitty cat, the cow, mama duck, and her ducklings. Did you see all those animals too? The lamb and the baby donkey want a drink of water from the pond. They wait for the ducklings to come out of the water. Who else is waiting for a drink? Is it the kitty? I think it might be the kitty. The foal and the kids lie down by the pond. They are tired. Even the ducklings have a rest. The cats are not tired. They want to climb the tree. How many cats can you count? I count. One, two, two kitties. Did you count two, two? The end, a day at the farm was fun.
Alrighty friends, you know the drill. I have you stand up and then I have you sit down and then I have you stand up again. So yep, you're back up on your feet. We're gonna move our bodies one more time. This is a song you may all know already. It's fun. Um, we get to move around and do fun things. We're gonna do this song twice. It is called Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. Do you know this one? Let's try it together. Are you ready? Round one. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, I have a challenge for you. We're going to speed it up. Think you can do it? Let's try. All right. It's gonna be round two, super fast. Ready? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Woo! Now it's time for furry friend break. Introducing my favorite, now furry friend, Mr. Greg. I hope you had your laughing pants on for that last furry friend break. I am really hoping that I can take that furry friend into the groomer soon. Alrighty, it is flannel board time. And I don't know if you have started a garden yet, if you've been out there in the yard, but there are ants in the yard and there are ants in my garden. And that is what we are doing today for our flannel, ants in the garden. Are you ready to help me count some ants? Let's go. Ants in the garden having lots of fun. Let's try to count them. I see one. Ants in the garden, I see one by your shoe. Please help me count them. One two. Ants in the garden, there's another by the tree. Hurry up and count them. One, two, three. Ants in the garden, there are more. Are you sure? Let's get busy counting them. One, two, three, four. Ants in the garden, here's the last to arrive. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. Very good counting. Bye-bye, ants. Alrighty, friends, it is time for our second book. We were just talking about ants in the garden because spring has arrived and with spring come bugs, but also some storms. I don't know if you have kind of witnessed the storms we've been having lately, some thunderstorms with lightning and lots of rain, and that is so that the plants can grow. They need to take a drink. So today's book is called Waiting Out the Storm, and there are two people who worked on it. We have an author or the person who thought up the story and wrote it down. That is Joanne Early Mackin. 
We also have the illustrator or the artist of the book, the one who did the beautiful pictures, and that is Susan Gaber. So thank you, Joanne, and thank you, Susan, for working together on this book called Waiting Out the Storm. Mama? Yes, Buttercup? What's that I hear? It's only the wind in the treetops, my dear. Why does it whistle? A storm's on its way. The wind calls the raindrops to come out and play. You see the little animals in the trees? Birds and squirrels? They come when the wind calls? They burst from the cloud, skipping and leaping and laughing out loud. They spin and they tumble. They bounce on the breeze. They dance to the tune of the wind in the trees. Is it starting to rain? Mama? Yes, Buttercup. What's that I hear? That's just the rumble of thunder, my dear. It's too loud. I'm afraid. Oh, it's only a sound. Thunder stomps, thunder stumbles and bumbles around. Looks a bit stormy, huh? What is it doing? It's racing up high, chasing the lightning all over the sky. But lightning's too tricky. It starts and it stops. It flashes and dances between the raindrops. What will the turtles do? Oh, don't you fret. Turtles like being outside when it's wet. Like ducks? Yes, ducks paddle in water all day. Puddles are ducks' favorite places to play. Isn't that true? What about chipmunks? Well, they snuggle together deep in their burrows in wet, windy weather. Look at them down there. And birds? Where do birds go? Beneath mama's wings, when rain falls and winds blow, the mama bird sings, hush little chickadees, never you fear. There, there, you're safe now. And I am right here. We're comfy inside. Yes, we'll stay dry and warm, cozy together here out of the storm. Tomorrow the sun will shine. Then we'll go play. We'll splash in the pond like the ducks do all day. But for now, let's just watch. It's a wonder to see. I am so glad I have you here to share it with me. I love watching a storm. I don't know if you do. So come, darling Buttercup, here where it's warm. Like chickadee babies, we're safe from the storm. While winds blow and rains fall, we'll wait out the weather. Cozy as bunnies. Yes, snuggling together. Now that's the way to ride out the storm. The end. Alrighty friends, we are back up on our feet to move our bodies. I am going to be doing a song by Jim Gill called Jump Up, Turn Around. So I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna do it a couple of times through and each time we have to change things up a little bit. So make sure you're paying attention. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. So we're just gonna do this normal round one. Here we go. Jump up, turn around, clap your hands, stamp the ground. 
jump up, turn around, clap your hands, stamp the ground. Okay, now we're gonna do it with our arms up high like this. Are you ready? Here we go. Jump up, turn around, clap your hands, stamp the ground. Jump up, turn around, clap your hands, stamp the ground. Okay, now this time we have to keep our arms up but our eyes closed. Are you ready? Let's try it. Here we go. Jump up, turn around, clap your hands, stamp the ground. Jump up, turn around, clap your hands, stamp the ground. All right, so now this last time will be the hardest one of all. You don't have to have your arms up or your eyes closed but you do have to hold your breath, okay? So, are you ready? Here we go. I'm gonna take a deep breath in and hold. Let it out. Okay, take another deep breath in. guys alrighty friends on to book number three I am sitting and relaxing to get my win back from our last song but if you want to stand up for this book you can because it is kind of an active book it's a guessing and an active book guess how many people worked on it two it's called dancing feet that is the title of this book and we have Lindsay Craig, who is the author or the person who thought up the story and wrote it down. Thank you, Lindsay. We also have Mark Brown. He is the illustrator or the artist of the book. So thank you, Mark. This is a fun little book called Dancing Feet. Again, if you want, you can stand up for this one and you can do the movements. I'm gonna relax. Tippity, tippity, little black feet. Who is dancing that tippity beat? Who could it be? What do you think? Ladybugs are dancing on tippity feet. Tippity, tippity, happy feet. Look at them go. Woohoo! Stompity, stompity, big gray feet. Who is dancing that stompity beat? Any guesses? I bet you know. Elephant is dancing on stompity feet. Stompity, stompity, happy feet. Woohoo! It's a dancing kind of day. Slappity, slappity, webbed orange feet. Who is dancing that slippity beat? What do you think? I think I know. Ducks are dancing on slappity feet. Slappity, slappity, happy feet. They are having fun. Creepity, creepity, lots of purple feet. Who is dancing that creepity beat? What do you think? Caterpillars dancing on creepity feet. Creepity, creepity, happy feet. He sure is happy. And he took a little nibble on a leaf. All that dancing made him hungry. Thumpity, thumpity, furry brown feet. Who is dancing that thumpity beat? What do you think? I've got my guess. Yay, I was right. Bear is dancing on thumpity feet. Thumpity, thumpity, happy feet. Clickety, clickety, long green feet. Who is dancing that clickety beat? Hmm, are you confused on this one or do you have a guess? 
Aha, lizard is dancing on clickety feet. Clickety, clickety, happy feet. Are you dancing at home? Stampity, stampity, here are feet. Who is dancing that stampity beat? We are dancing on stampity feet. Stampity, stampity, happy feet. Thumpity, tip, tippity, creepity, slappity, clickety, stompity, stampity. Happy, happy dancing feet. Whew, a couple of tongue twisters in there for Miss Julie, but I made it through. Hope you had fun dancing through this book. The end. Alrighty, my friends, it is now time for your homework and your academic resource. So I would love for you to bring for next week your tapping sticks. And remember, those can be anything that you can tap with. Pencils, markers, chopsticks, sticks from outside, rulers, whatever you can use to tap with. So we are going to do some more activities with those. Your academic resource this week, I thought it might be fun for you and your family to visit sesamestreet.org. It's a great site. Um, I'm just going to read a little bit here about it. Um, the site is filled with content that you can use to spark playful learning, offer children comfort, and focus a bit on yourself too, adults. Um, the resources will help your family play, learn, and breathe deeply together. So it's a great site. There are hand washing songs and videos and fun things that you can do together. So I hope you enjoy that. So again, remember those tapping sticks and uh, check out sesamestreet.org, okay? Now it's time to read our beautiful book by Jim Gill. May there always be sunshine. Enjoy. May there always be sunshine. May there always be blue skies. May there always be mama. May there always be me. May there always be colors. May there always be grapes. May there always be teeth. May there always be fish. May there always be pancakes. May there always be books. May there always be blankets. May there always be dads. May there always be farmers. May there always be hats. May there always be dancing. May there always be rain. May there always be skyscrapers. May there always be fiddles. May there always be birthdays. May there always be us. The end. All right, my friends, it is that time. Time to say goodbye to another story hour. I hope you had a great time and enjoyed that furry friend break. I know that I had my laughing pants on for that. All right, let's say our goodbye song and say goodbye until next week. Okay, here we go. Clap your hands, stop your feet. It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. It's time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink your eye. It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, friends. Yee-haw! Miss Julie.
Miss Julie says to be well, to live strong, and remember to laugh often. Bye-bye, friends.